Okay, so I am on a warpath again today for a couple of reasons. The first one, I was doing another video. Someone is using my cell phone, so let's see if I get a good investigation going on on that one, and I'll upload that one later. Uh, this one is really starting to piss me off as well. I keep getting these emails for financial assistance addressed to some lady who probably doesn't exist named Bernita, and... Um, the emails have been coming for quite a while and what I'm discovering is over the past couple of months, you know, they come from all sorts of different fake email addresses and then recently the fake email addresses, when it comes into either um, my Gmail account, my business email account or through Outlook where I have them linked, it's crashing my Outlook and it's crashing Google Gmail. So there's an embedded virus that's in these emails. It's really, really pissing me off. So I ended up going to Google and my web hosting and putting the keywords in to filter and immediately delete those out. But I did take a print screen of the uh, email and I'm going to give them a call. So let's hold on and see what they have to say. I'll read the email in just a second. Okay, I'm getting old. I can't read this very well. Um, so the email says, Bernita Shaw, I'm reaching out from the financial hardship department where I've been assigned to assist you with your recent application. I did not apply. Um, in any event, this email that's going addressed to Bernita is going to my email address. So um, there's fraud number one. I have reviewed your application and am pleased to inform you that you have been pre-approved to provide unique opportunities ooh, to those facing financial difficulties. And I would be honored to assist you in enrolling. To that end, I would like to schedule a call to discuss the details of the program and answer any questions you may have. If you are available, please call me back at 888-541-6350 to schedule a convenient time for our call. I, I will be available during normal business hours 9 to 6 Pacific time and will make every effort to accommodate your schedule. Oh, gee golly, how nice. I look forward to the opportunity to speak with you soon and help you take advantage of this exciting opportunity. Ooh! Thank you for your time and consideration. Sincerely, Felipe Busales, Financial Hardship Department. Well, I'm going to give you a CFE Hardship Department in about two seconds. Okay, I'm going to call 888-541-6350. Six three five zero. So obviously, I'm not always nice. Hi, thank you for calling us back. Your call is important to us. Please stay on the line while we connect your call. Your call is now being connected. Calls may be recorded for quality assurance. Hello, this is Chris with the Consumer Relief on a recorded line. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? My name is Bernita. Hello, I see that we reached out to you regarding our debt relief programs. Do you currently owe 7000 or more in credit card collection or personal loan accounts? Uh, yeah, you keep emailing me that I applied for something. I don't recall applying for anything. Hello? Yeah, you're Your call is important to us. Please stay on the line while we connect your call. Hi, my name is Portia with Up and Woman Center. Are you calling in reference to the message you receive about your financial help? Yes, I am. Um, where am I calling? What company is this? We're from Altitude Depth Advisors. Okay. And um, how did you get my information? I'm a little confused. We, the email said that I applied. We have an outreach team that does that. I'm from the qualification department. Oh, okay. You're from the qualification department, but it said I qualified already. 
I'm not sure the outreach teams do um, check into that. They contact clients that know is struggling financially with their financial debt. Okay. So do you have a, somebody there that I could talk to, a supervisor maybe? Where Are you in California? No, we're in Colorado. Oh, you're in Colorado. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So am I. I'm a certified fraud examiner, and you guys keep spamming my email with somebody who doesn't even exist stating that I qualified. So you are actually under investigation right now. Do you have a supervisor that I could speak with? Because your I emails can contain... What was that? I could have the supervisor contact you. Okay, and what's the supervisor's name? Okay, let me see if one is available. Okay. Hello? Yes. Yeah, we don't have a oh, ready supervisor available. When one is available, I can have them contact you, okay? Okay, uh, my number is 970. My name is Certified Fraud Examiner Aidlot. I suggest they call me because they are under investigation. Your company is sending out emails that include viruses on them. You're spamming people with fake information and fake names claiming they applied for something. And I would take this very seriously. Okay. Are you there? Okay. Yes. I realize yes. you don't care and you're probably not even in Colorado, but at this point, um, are. you are being reported as well. Do you realize the emails that you're sending out are going just blasting people and they include a virus as well? And they include misleading okay, and false information? That does that. And from the it, it doesn't matter who the outreach team is. You guys are all interconnected. I was transferred to this phone number. What was your name again? I am recording this call, by the way. So obviously you hung up, you didn't take my information, and I have enough information from you that I'm I will here. be. Okay, so what was your name again? My name is Portia. Portia, and you're located in Colorado. Do you have a business address? There you go. They don't want to be involved. Okay, so I'm going to blast this one all over the place because this debt relief company is going to be reported to the Federal Trade Commission. Um, this is absolutely ridiculous. I highly doubt I'm going to get a call back from a supervisor, but I will post everything I possibly can about their fraudulent and misleading scam virus infested emails. Okay, now I have to go.